Hi everyone. So in this video, let's write some Svelte JS code and we will see how it is running and how it is getting compiled. I mean, before that, I wanted to just uh, talk about this Svelte JS playground. I mean, this is a playground where you can actually see how things are getting uh, compiled and what is the output compiled code we are generating. I will just zoom it a little bit. You can also look into this. So this is our component app.svelte which is nothing okay we have the script tag and we have simple html okay we expose some variable name and i'm able to print that variable name here the this simplest code you can see what output it is generating this is the output javascript we are getting okay this is the compiled code and that is compiled code is happy to be processed by the browser this is the css output and this is the final result we are getting we can also pass the scoped CSS and if we talk about uh, these are the three different examples hello world scoped CSS how the how it is able to scope the CSS and then the example of the reactivity how it is going to react whenever you click down to this button how fast the change detection is happening because it's not using any kind of a virtual DOM to apply and re-render because there is no concept of re-rendering right then how how for what is the reactive nature how it is becoming so much reactive that whenever you change then what is happening in the background that is asking this component to publish the new value of the count okay so that all those things we are going to look into but you can play with this felt js like how what is the component this is a simple component component can contain only simple html also we don't need to put a javascript here this will also result you to simple hello because we don't have a name here hello world scoped css because the component can contain a javascript html and the styles these are the scoped styles here i just put the the styles for the p tag and that is getting applied okay uh, scoped styles means this this particular style has been applied to this component only not outside this you can see uh, it does it is not affecting this particular component okay similarly the simple example on reactivity the count was zero when i click on to this this is a simple uh, svelte syntax which we need to learn it is just calling the handle click and it is the count is increased by one then how this count is getting reflected onto this so th there are like uh, you can see if you look into the output code we will see a lot of things handle invalidate you will see something like this so what it is doing is Whenever you click on to this button, handle click, it is invalidating the value of the count which was already there and it is going to publish the new value of the count instance. So if I have the new value of the count and invalidated the previous one, I should be able to show the updated value onto the UI. Okay, and this is how this HTML is getting compiled. This is the button, this, these are the different text, there is a space and then there is a text and this is how they, in this particular way, they are getting appended, the button on the T0, T1, T2, T3, because there is only one button we have. Okay, and I mean this is the simplest uh, compiled output. If we look for the hello world, what the JS out contains, this is just containing the, okay, this is the the HTML content h1 and the text content for the h1 this is it and this is the component okay we can look into more examples uh, actually in the documents they are providing all different examples how the form works how the, how we can integrate with the API how the parent child component really works uh, in the Svelte JS okay so on the same line let's talk about this example and i was talking about uh, this is uh, fast let's see how it is working npm run start you might have seen this command on different framework angular cli uh, npm run start command is there in the react create react app also there is npm run start and you can see this is ultra fast right npm run start and it has published when i do npm run build it is building the component right now we don't have many right it has compiled and build.js is the output so when i do npm run start we should be able to see the output on 8000 port and this is the output hello world 
right this is the same vanilla javascript it is publishing to the browser and we should be able to see that on the browser okay so you can see how fast this is now we'll talk about app.svelte and we will write some code here what i will do is i will remove whatever is code is there so we have the scoped styles and we have this html and this is a simple javascript so scoped style we don't need to work on i will zoom this a little bit so here we have the variables like export let name similarly we can actually create some another variable let's say export export let salary you can initialize these variables or we are exporting it because we are telling uh, the Svelte JS either you are going to get this variable from the parent component or you are going to get this value from this variable itself okay uh, if you look into the parent component here we are passing the name okay that means if you just write export let name you are just telling this app.svelte component okay i'm getting the name from the parent component you can also override and initialize it with something else let's say uh, this. okay so now let's create a simple button and try to increase the salary so button component is the same you can just create a button simple html javascript now i can i'm able to increase the salary right it is generating these uh, outputs bundle.js bundle.css and the static artifacts fevi icon so how wh what is actually happening here when you click on to the button it is invalidating the salary value whenever you are clicking on to that that we can see in the output build also so inside build.js if you are able to render the code see the code like how things are happening otherwise you will just create npm run build and see what is happening there here it is this is really important code so we are getting the name from the props okay this salary is the props which i have defined in the component itself and name is something the as a props i'm receiving from the app component and whenever you are doing a handle click i'm invalidating the value of salary because i'm increasing to that and these are the two writable props which i'm writing to the component right because the name and salary i'm setting those values and whenever we are invalidating we are actually updating and capturing the new value i mean we need to see how internally it is working whenever there is a change how the the swelt component is able to capture the new updated value onto the component itself so i mean the context is getting updated and this value is getting invalidated whenever i'm clicking onto the button this is what i can see in the compiled code handle click invalidate the salary value and increase and reflect the new value of salary okay this props this is an internal props or this is the props which we are receiving from the parent component this is what it is showing and let's see the reactivity in with some other examples also because this compiled code won't tell us more because this is all internal things which is happening at the compiler stage so this is this is our first basic example which we have covered now what we will do is let's talk about the course outline like what all things we are going to cover obviously we are going to talk about the core syntax the basic syntax because this on click is not same as the javascript on click we have to follow some syntax this looks javascript to me but sometimes we are writing some syntax we have the array we have the array objects how to render the array objects on to the component in the html so that has a separate syntax how we can pass the data how we can pass the props that is a different syntax so core syntax then we will talk about conditional and loops we'll talk about some uh, basic projects we we'll talk about okay how we are going to work with the forms and the components like the data binding in the forms how to capture the values and the important part is how to work with the stores and then the interaction of the component with uh, http calls because there will be a back end we are going to interact with them and parent child component and then routing and server side rendering those are the other important aspects we are going to cover so let's get started i will just cover some course outline and then 
we'll start learning the core basic syntax of Svelte.js.